In this video, we are going to go through the steps of creating a talking AI agent like the one I'm going to show you now. Hi, welcome to Skill Curve. I'm Michael. How can I help you? Hi, I want information about the certifications provided by Skill Curve. Hi there. I'd be happy to help you with that. Skill Curve provides a wide range of cloud certifications, including Google Cloud, AWS. Okay, okay, that's fine. It also have a YouTube channel, I guess. You are absolutely right. We do have a YouTube channel where we post new videos regularly. We cover a wide range of topics, from the latest in AI to in-depth explanations of cloud technology. Okay, so can you tell me about some latest videos on the channel? Of course, we've got a lot of exciting new videos on the channel. Some of the most recent ones include Apple Intelligence iOS 18.1 Wounds, Amazing AI Features, NVIDIA AI Summit, Jetson Wang, Fireside Chat with Mukesh Ambani Vision. All right, so let's get started. Firstly, you have to go to the 11 Labs website. And once you are on the website, you have to click on Get Started for free. This will take you to the 11 Labs dashboard. This is how the interface looks like. On the left side, you can see that we have a navigation menu. And on the navigation menu, if you scroll down a little bit, you will see the option for the conversational AI beta. Once you click on it, you will be taken to a new page where you can create your own AI agent. From this page, you have to click on Create an AI agent button right here. And it is going to ask you to select an option and we'll provide you four different types of AI agents to choose from. First, we have the blank template. You have to use this if you want to start completely from scratch. Then we have a support agent. This one is great for answering the customer questions. We have a video game character. This one is for making a character that talks to players in a game. And then we have a math tutor. This agent helps answer math questions and guides people through solving problems. So for this video, I'm going to choose the support agent. Then you have to provide a name to your agent. I'm going to call it customer support agent. And after providing the name, you simply have to click on create agent button. Once you've done it, now it is time to customize a new agent. So customizing an agent is just like giving it a personality. And you can add personality to your agent by providing it different type of messages like first message or the system prompt, etc. So firstly, we have the option to set the first message. You can start by writing a message that your AI agent will say when it starts talking to someone. So since I'm creating the customer support agent for my Skillcube website, so I'm going to change the first message to Hi, welcome to Skillcube. I'm Michael. How can I help you today? Then after setting the first message, the next thing is to set up the system prompt. This is like giving your AI some rules about how to act. So I'm going to say that you are the support agent named Michael. You are very friendly and enthusiastic and really want to help the customer get the help they need and answer in three to seven sentences in most of the cases. This will tell AI about how it should behave and how it should respond to the user prompt. And by providing the system prompt, you can make your agent have any personality and respond in any tone in any different way that you want. After the system prompt, now you need to pick an AI model. The AI model is what makes your AI smart and each one is good at different things. It provides you a wide variety of options. You can select any one according to your requirements. So let's say that if you want your LLM to be good at understanding lots of different kinds of questions and giving solid answers, then you should select the GPT-4 Turbo. If you want your model to be helpful and answer the questions using AI about coding or other technical topics, then you should go with the Claude 3.5. If you want faster responses, but which are not much detailed, then you can go with the Gemini 1.5 Flash. In this way, you can add different models that you want. All are absolutely free. So I'm going to go with the Gemini 1.5 Flash. Then we have the temperature, which is a parameter that controls the creativity or the randomness of the responses generated by the LNM. The higher the value, the more the creativity will be. So I'm going to go with the default value. Then we have the option for the knowledge base. You can make your AI even smarter by giving it a knowledge base. This is where you can add extra information from different documents, websites, or text that the AI can use to answer the questions. So if you want to add a knowledge base, you have to click on this add item button right here. It will provide you the option to upload a file, upload URL, or upload a copied text. So here I'm going to upload a file, a URL of the website, as well as the URL of the YouTube channel. So this is the file. Then for the URL, I'm going to provide the URL of the website. And then I'm going to add another URL, which is going to be the URL of our YouTube channel. Once you click on add item, all three items will be added to your knowledge base. 
Now you simply have to click on save button to save all the configurations which you have set for your AI agent. So once all the changes have been successfully saved, now the only thing that is left is to test our AI agent. For that you have to click on this button right here. It will provide you another button for calling the AI agent where your conversation will start. So let's see the demo. Hi, welcome to Skill Curve. I'm Michael. How can I help you? Hi, I want information about the certifications provided by Skill Curve. Hi there. I'd be happy to help you with that. Skill Curve provides a wide range of cloud certifications, including Google Cloud, AWS. Okay, thank you. And that was it. You can clearly see that how well the conversation went. And it seems like I was actually talking to a real person because whenever I interrupt him, he will stop right there and will listen to my question and will answer the question in great detail. Also, there is another feature called the history. So if you click on it, it would provide you the conversation history of which agent was involved in the conversation. What was the duration of the conversation? Was it a success? Was it a failure? And how many messages were passed between the agent and the customer? And if you click on the messages, you will see the entire conversation recorded as well. Moreover, you also have the information about the credit which you have used during this call, which is really cool. And that's not all. It also provides you another feature that you can embed this AI agent right inside your website as well. For that, you simply have to go to your agent and then from these options, you have to go to the widget. Here, it will firstly provide you the option for the embed code, which you need to copy and paste it in your website, which will show you this widget on your website as well. And you also have the option to customize the appearance of your widget. So if you want to change the logo of the image, you can do that too. So I'm going to change the image to our company's logo. You can also go ahead and change the color scheme. You can change the background color, the text color, the button color, and so on. Once you're happy with the interface, you simply have to click on save button and your widget is ready. So now you only need to copy this code and then you have to go to the code of your website and inside the head tag, you have to paste the code and simply save your file and then simply it runs your website. So here is a template for the website and you can see that now we have the widget for our customer support AI agent, which we have created using the 11 lab. So let's go ahead and test it out. Hi, welcome to Skill Curb. I'm Michael. How can I help you today? I want to get information about this platform. Hi there, I'm Michael, and I'm happy to help you learn more about Skill Curve. We're a platform dedicated to helping people learn the skills they need to achieve their career goals. We offer a wide variety of courses taught by certified instructors. With okay, so you can see that it was working absolutely fine right here inside our website template as well. In this way, you can easily embed it in any of your website or any of your web page that you want. You simply have to paste the code and it will work like a charm. So in this way, you can use the AI agent feature provided by the 11 labs to create AI agent for any field that you want. You simply have to provide it the correct system prompt along with the required knowledge base and it will work just fine for you. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.